So, so you were saying that it started four years ago with simulation and so, yeah. but when did it really start it to have that idea of a real device, real machine, real system? I would say about one and a half years ago. One and a half years ago, yeah. okay. How many people to construct a mechanism? How many people buy in electronics? Right now, like in Korea, like we built this, we built this system exclusively for the Eleven Cup, and just three of us are doing all of the work. Yeah. So these three people here on the team. Um, actually, the, for the algorithm, I got the breathing results from the doctor and the machine everything double, and that took like one and a half years. Is there any? There is a level of maintenance, I yes. suppose. There is electronics, and so how is it? How do you manage that on site? When when the machine is there on site, how do you deal? On -site? Like on site when it's when it's deployed. When when for example there is like a small village somewhere in Africa where this system is running, right? Okay, it's failing. It's uh -huh. failing. First thing is, how does the guy knows it's failing? And second question is, how do you get it fixed? Okay, that's why you have the management team. Yeah, I think the thing we will work, presumably everything is in, in order. But if something breaks down, then the, the, that that number will really go out. Yes. How sensitive is the the, the animal there? How, and how long can they survive before the help comes? Um. Okay. Before the help, like if there's sudden change in climate, the climate climate, they yeah. won't survive very long. They will survive like two or three days, maybe. But if there's no not much if not much sudden climate change, they will survive like five or six days. I would I would say like before. Do you have a kind of feedback system where if something is not working, the signal is sent centrally? Yes, for sure. So every little component to be in order. Once yes. you break down, the, the signal. Yes, the signal is correct. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very much. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Good luck.
Hello, we are from Korea, and our team is Team Wafri. And my name is Yoon Ji Shin. Our project is the project to solve the hunger. And to solve the hunger, most of people think we have to send more food. But our goal is to make, make the African people self-sufficient by using insects as a substitute food. We compared 192 insects to find the best one to breed and found that Coleoptera leucanidae, these guys, are the best one to breed. One problem is they are very sensitive for the climatic changes, so we built a system that finds the best optimal condition sets and changes the environmental data accordingly. And after that, we are going to, we're going to have many people using this, pro, using this system, so how great it would be to gather all the information and update the algorithm and makes it better every time. So our system is fully automatic system that breeds leucanidae and becomes better and better every time. Thank you. Um, Hold that mic nice and close. There you go. All right. This is the e-box, and e-box is turned on every once in every three hours to save the energy. And the sensor measures the humidity and temperature. And this controller shows how, what the temperature and humidity is. And the e-box calculates using our self-made algorithm the optimal condition sets and orders the controller how to change. Um, you see here, this part, this part should be filled with soil, wet soil, and we use evaporation heat to lower the temperature. And if we open the blind, the temperature will go down. And if, the, if we close the blind, the temperature will stay because the wet soil has high specific heat. Also, this fan keeps, from, keeps this device from being filled with humidity and uh, once every day, our system reports the, to the main server the results of breeding leucanidae. So this came text takes a picture of the leucanidae and checks how many leucanidae are survived. And they, they make a report for breeding leucanidae and send it to the Wafri main server. This is our management page. What if the system is broken? African people doesn't know how to fix it. Will they, will they all starve? No. That's why we built this page. Um, the regional manager can find, find like the e box is marked with the flag. And if this shows a red flag or yellow flag, yellow flag means there's no connection. Red flag means the system is broken. And you can remote change the, con the remote control, the device to save the looking days. So people can still enjoy fresh looking days for food. Thank you.